Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sumi and I'm the owner and illustrator of the Mochi Cloud. And today we're going to open an exciting package from Yosaka Stationery. It is my first time ordering one of these um, supplies. Um, and if you've already seen the title of the video, you know what I'm talking about. So um, I found myself getting into the rabbit hole that is the fountain pens quite reasonably and I was very much interested in trying out um, something as a starter fountain pen. So I went on a couple of places. I think I checked in Goulet pens first and I also checked in Yoseka and I kind of um, found something that I was interested in and since I have purchased from Yoseka stationery before I was like more um, comfortable purchasing from them again. So without further ado we're gonna open this up and look into what we got. As always, packaged in a brown bag. Yay! All right. So, I see something in. Okay, yeah. So, if you don't know what these are, let me let me talk about them a little bit. These are the Kaweco or Kaweco, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce them, but they are the Kaweco fountain pens, Kaweco Sport fountain pens. And I was really excited to pick these colors because they're really, really cute. And of course, um, you do get a um, postcard when you order from Yoseka Stationery. Um, I am really happy getting this. I, I do see, yeah, they actually, um, they actually knew that I had purchased from them before. So, <laughs> so it's thanks again to me, which is my name. Happy new year. Enjoy your new pens. And I believe it's May who has signed this. Um, I'm going to have to figure out who is May from this, but, um, long story short. So it is the Kaweco fountain, Kaweco sport collection fountain pens. Oh, I just dropped that Kaweco sport collection fountain pens that I picked up. And I also picked up the, um, six count um, car cartridges so let's get into um, the actual unboxing of this uh, i'm gonna move the rest of the things out of the way you do get a couple of freebies when you do order from yoseka so that's also nice so i'll just move these out of the way all right we're back and i just wanted to talk a little bit about these two these are both the kaweco um, collector's edition fountain pens this one is in lavender and this one is in mellow blue i remember picking one of these to be medium sized nib and the other one to be fine but i really don't remember which one i chose to be medium versus um fine so we're gonna figure that out right now and as far as i know uh when you order a fountain pen from kaweco you do get the um, you do get a converter. No, you don't get a converter. You get a cartridge. <laughs> See, I'm I'm very new to this and you can finally figure out that I am new. Um, you could get a converter, but you will have to se purchase them separately. But um, I remember thinking to myself that since I'm a complete newbie in this, it wouldn't make sense for me to buy a converter and figure out inks right away because I just don't know what i will like so i figured since they're already providing with a cartridge it makes sense to just try it out and i do remember that it's going to be a blue cartridge that is provided so i think i picked up the black ones instead now um i really love this this is really pretty it is indeed a very mellow blue it it's almost like a I wouldn't want to say sky blue and I thought that this was you know looking at this right you know in real life I feel like the videos and the pictures kind of deceived me because I thought that this was very much like you know okay I have a comparison right here you see the blue on this I thought that it was the blue um, color that you see very similar to these stamps um, they may be look the same but i think there is a very 
significant difference between the colors. This one, the mellow blue, has a lot more steely gray kind of tone to it. Um, but nevertheless, I'm really happy with it. And let's see what nib this is. I'm gonna have to look at it real close. So I did pick the medium for this. And if I remember correctly, I took the fine for this one. I hope, I really hope I took the fine for this. So let's unbox or open the lavender. And I'm hoping the lavender is very true to color as what I've seen on the pictures, yeah. See, now this is kind of very close to what I've seen. Um, the lavender does look very similar to what I've seen on the photos. Again, it's a, you know, unscrewing mechanism. I think that's what you call it. And I hope this is a fine. Yes, this is a fine. And um, I believe there should be a cartridge in there. There is no, oh, there is a cartridge. Really? No, I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it just popped right out. So this is a blue cartridge and um, I don't think I'm going to use the blue one. I will use the um, uh, black one that I've purchased for both of these pens and I will try and figure this out because this is the first time I am using or even looking up. I have used fountain pens when I was a kid. Um, I was schooled in a different country and we used to learn how to write with fountain pens soon after, you know, a particular grade. Um, but it was not, and as far as I can remember, we did not have like a cartridge filling mechanism. I think we would like directly dip the fountain pen in the ink bottle and use that kind of a squeezing or su a suction mechanism to pull in the ink. Um, but I remember being frustrated with the pens that I've had because it wouldn't work that way. Um, it wouldn't work the way that I wanted it to. So, but I think, you know, it is, it is something that I've always wanted to get back into. Um, so what better time than to do it now in your later years? So, um, do I need to do anything here? Do I just, okay, this is really live. Hopefully this works. Okay, I did hear a pop. All right, um, do I just start writing? Is that how it works? See, I'm completely new to this. Oh, wow. That is really good. I hope I'm in frame. Let me take a look. Yeah, I think I am in frame. Just need to move some of these. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, I love the fine. This is very similar to the Sakura Pigma Micron in 03. Wow, I really love this. I'm gonna keep this here and we're gonna proceed to get the cartridge in on this one. Okay, we have blue, mellow blue. I feel like the medium is very comparable to the 08. See how juicy that is? But I didn't, I didn't know there's, there was nothing in between a fine and a medium. So there's like a really big difference between these two. Don't you see that? kind of very surprised. Yeah, that's that's very, very different between, I, th I thought that there would be like very minute differences between the fine and the medium, but this actually seems like there's quite a big difference, but I still love it. It does look really nice. I think if I had to choose one between the two, I would definitely go with um, the fine. 
um, the O5, I, or sorry, the, the medium is pretty good. It's just that I, it, it's a little too juicy for me. So <laughs> I might use this um, medium in my uh, Hobonichi Cousin because it has more space for me to actually write on. I am really excited. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is these are like my first pens into first fountain pens after I've grown old. So I'm venturing back into the fountain pen world and I am really happy that I did pick the Kaweco Sport Collection to be my first pen. I was considering a Twisby Eco, um, but the only reason I held off on it was because I did not want to, you know, purchase an ink bottle, a full ink bottle, or even a sample for that matter for some reason, because I, I just wanted to try this out first and see if it is to my liking before I invest more in fountain pens. And I think this is going to last me quite a lot um, of writing time and um, hopefully this will last me or keep me interested as much as I want to, you know, further enlarge my collection. So uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.